let's tweak this group a little. We'll select it and we'll scale along the axis. Turn on which is multiplication by shift tab and tab. Should change to work mode. I will select it there. Hit G to grow select. Hit C to connect. Use the slider to position it. Grow. Add ring G. C to connect these edges. This slide it. I will grow again the edge ring. Select the edge ring. Connect it. Scale it uniform. I will select those edges. And by hitting G, select the entire edge ring. And by hitting C, connect it. I will select this edge ring. L to select edge loop. This slide it. I will use my lead uh, freezing the direction. I will move this along the axis. I will select this another one edge loop by hitting L and I will move it again along the axis. And this is how it looks this. I will will subdivide it. So I will hit that to exit work mode and I will shift that to exit. Quick smoothing preview. I will select the entire body and with right click I will smooth it one, two, three times. This is how it looks after subdivision. Shift tab again. At this moment, I can turn off the wireframe by hitting W. W turn on, turn off wireframe, wireframe display. You have various shaders here. Some lights and two lights. Two lights will simulate two lights in sand. One light wings simulate just one light in sand. If I change the shader for example hemispherical lighting or tune. If I click one light again, I return to the full wings split mode. You can experiment all then. I will hit W to turn off wireframe display and wire mapping. Beautiful. Vertex normal. And all the other ones, face normal, sphere from the end of illusion, depth, sphere of our own group, very handsome too. You can create a hotkey to next and to previous so that quickly you can navigate between all these shaders. And if you want to go back to the default shader, just click one light 